What's going on guys, Guided by Jesus here and as promised I'm bringing you guys today the amazing deck that has been winning me absolutely everything. On today's video I'm gonna feature the matches that I got 12 wins in challenges guys. That is the ultimate prize that's the best you can get is 12 wins and it's with this deck Lava Hound and Lumberjack. Who would have figured that these two combined could be so powerful? And guys, yes, I did just use arrows. I know it's not all that common. Usually people use the fireball zap or the poison zap. Um, I actually chose to use arrows in this deck and I'll explain to you guys why. The reason why I use arrows is because a huge counter to the Lava Hound is the princess which kills the lava pup super fast and also does damage to the minions or the mega minion that you use to back up the lava hound but also the mega um the not the mega minions the minion horde guys so with the arrows you're able to effectively counter the minion horde you take them out as fast as possible and you still get an elixir advantage for doing so. And that will allow your Lava Hound to survive for even longer and allowing your minions and your mega minions for, to come in from the back and do even more damage. So as you guys can see in this match right now, it's pretty tied. Um, I, my opponent probably has the lead here because he has two pumps down and he did a lot more damage to my king's tower but i actually let him i wanted him to push on that side so i just allowed his bowler to keep doing all that damage to my king's tower because i figured that it would have been better if he if me and him pushed on the same side that way i'd use the lava hound to tank and my mega minion and my minions would be able to take out his giant and his bowler um, with ease and um, here it is guys, the Lava Hound tanking, I could use the Mega Minion and the Minion um, to take out that giant without uh, any type of problem because the Lava Hound would just soak all the damage and this is the first win guys. So make sure to watch this video until the end because I'm going to be playing against different kinds of deck and you're going to um, know how, to, how I use my mindset, what is my mindset behind every single move that I use. So here I'm gonna arrow down his goblin barrel. Um, I did not get any uh, elixir advantage for that but since that was the only thing I could use right there to keep him from doing about 600 damage to my tower, I used the arrow there. I'm just gonna drop here the tombstone to keep his giant skeleton distracted while my mega minion takes it down. Fortunately for me, his wizard is only level 6, so a fireball will take it down and I'll be able to damage the tower. And as you guys could see there, very bad placement of him to place the minion horde um, right next to the wizard. I was able to not only kill the wizard, I was able to kill the minion horde and do damage to the tower at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat here the same thing since it worked so well. And um, I hope that he's either going to continue to do the same thing and I'll eventually win or it will force him to have to try something different and a lot of times when people try things differently they make mistakes. So that wizard being level 6 I just waited for the minion horde. I'd rather take the minion horde down um, because it does a lot more damage than the wizard by itself. And once again, I was able to inflict a lot of damage to his tower and my towers are relatively at full HP right now. So I'll use the arrows to take down those goblins because um, the tower was busy shooting down the barbarians. I used the uh, skeleton trap, the, the tombstone just to distract the barbarians there. And the mega minion here is gonna help my tower take down these mini the minion horde arrow down the goblin barrel and only 18 seconds left on the clock all I have to do is defend really but I'm just gonna go ahead and since I had a lot of elixir drop my lava hound on the left just in case he miraculously was able to take down my tower I'd already have a strong push there on the left 
so this is game number seven seven wins only one loss here um, you guys saw a different kind of deck there from my opponent and let's see what this next opponent brings to the table so just gonna go ahead and drop down my lava hound he has wizard and musketeer and he dropped them right next to each other so i'm just gonna go ahead and um fireball all of that very very good value for my fireball right there i'll use the ice spirit just so that his valkyrie and his hog doesn't do all that much damage to my tower um even so they did a lot a lot of damage so so far in this game we're way behind he zaps my lava pups there and um, that effectively stops my attack I dropped the well played for him so now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my lava hound here to distract this musketeer and this ice wizard keep them from getting to my tower and I'm just because he used both of his air um, targeting troops I dropped my minions there to help the Lava Hound. And look at all the damage that the Lumberjack did to that tower, guys. Just incredible. It just went in like a ninja uh, while the Lava Hound soaked all the damage from the tower. And it took out that tower with ease. So Ice Spirit here to stop down the Hog Rider while the Mega Minion took it down. That was great because the Hog Rider is for Elixir. Ice Wizard combined with the Mega Minion are also for Elixir, except my Mega Minion survived at full HP. So look at the value from that Fireball, guys. I was able to hit two Elixir storages, his Musketeer, his Ice Wizard, and the Tower. He drops down the WoW because he knows that that was just not only a good play by me, but also a very bad play, very bad mistake from him to drop all those things together there. And that is game, guys. This is win number eight here. He's dropping the angry face because he knows it's over. Um, here we go, that was game number eight. So as you guys can see, another very, very different deck and we won with ease that match as well. I'm sorry about that, my phone just got a text message. Here we go into the ninth match here. I'm gonna drop down my tombstone because I didn't have my lava hound yet and guys these skeletons could actually be deadly but now that I drop my lava hound if he just allows my, those skeletons to make it to the tower while his tower is targeting the lava hound they do so much damage but he knows that so he drops down the poison I go ahead and drop down my lumberjack to take out his ice wizard but he does go ahead and drop the goblins my fireball is able to take all of that and oh my god the lumberjack this did so much damage and then after it died it raged my mega minion in those lava pups and did you guys see that combo that is why this deck is so effective it allows for so many different ways to push and so many different ways to defend it is just overall amazing guys so once again i'll drop the tombstone here because it's gonna force him to have to do something so there you go he had to waste his poison there and because he knows he would be taking a lot of damage from those skeletons and that made it so that he couldn't really make his combo as strong as possible there so just like that all his troops are are gone only 55 seconds left on the clock. Both of my towers are very, very high in HP right now. He drops down his Lava Hound. And guys, this deck of his is actually a great deck. Lava Hound, an Inferno Dragon, a Mega Minion. Just an incredible deck. But look at how I just take this win. Um, very, very, very good game here. So I go ahead and take advantage that he has so many things together there and I drop the fireball. Only 10 seconds on the left. I'm not even going to bother pushing. All I have to do is defend here. Let me just go ahead since all his troops were air. I dropped the lava hound because they would target the lava hound just in case. Wasn't really necessary but whatever. 
that is win number nine and once again a very different deck there by my opponent i actually won uh, i actually lost the next match so i skipped that um just to show you guys it was actually a giant poison uh match and it was very very close game guys but because of the balance changes and since we won't have to worry about giant poison all that much anymore i just skipped that match this video is long enough and um so here we go he already did a good amount of damage there to my tower on the right side my minions here able to take down that ice wizard only one minion survives but he does so much damage guys because the witch in the tower were concentrated on taking out the lava hound that one minion easily easily dealt a good 400 damage to that tower because all the damage he had done was to my tower on the right and not the left i allowed that witch to take some shots at my tower on the left there that would make it so that he considers starting to push on the left and that would be the best thing for me i rather push the same side that my opponent is pushing because that way i just leave the lava hound tanking while the mega minions and the minions come in from behind taking down his giant his royal giant whatever it is that he might be using while his support troops are busy targeting the lava hound so here we go we were able to take the lead here he still continues to push on the opposite side as me no problem i have an arsenal here of things to help me defend against him watch as his mega minion royal giant did basically almost nothing of damage to my tower the lumberjack going down there raged my minions they took down the tower 23 seconds left all i have to do is defend here so i go ahead and drop down my ice spirit to keep his royal giant from targeting my tower it was forced to reset and target the skeletons very strong push here on the right side even if he took down my tower my lumberjack was already at his tower while the the opponent's tower were targeting the lava hound so that tower would have gone down easily easily that is win number 10 guys so only two more wins to get the ultimate prize here is match number 11 uh, not a very good start here by me very very bad deck rotation so i just go ahead and drop down the skeleton tomb tombstone um that is one of the most defensive cards i have here on this deck um he does have an inferno tower that is just a lava hound killer guys that is possibly one of the best cards to counter the lava hound with and this deck is just so strong I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, beat the Inferno Tower guys with this deck. This just has so many different possibilities of attack and we will easily beat this, well maybe not easily, but we will beat this opponent even though he is up in the lead of 1500 HP right now. Our tower is down to only 1000 HP. So I dropped down the minions here to try to distract the Inferno Tower. Unfortunately, it targets my Lava Hound first. No problem. I am watching that now. I know he has that Inferno Tower, so I know I have to figure out a way of distracting that Inferno Tower before it targets down my Lava Hound. Maybe by dropping my Ice Spirit to reset it. We're gonna find a way, don't worry guys. So there you go, I do drop down the Ice Spirit. That way it will reset the Inferno Tower and then the minions to also distract and take down that Inferno Tower as quick as possible. So there we go, his Inferno Tower still managed to pretty much kill our Lava Hound. But at least we're not taking any more damage from our opponent here. And we're actually gaining an Elixir guys, we're catching up to him in Elixir. Here, Ice Spirit resets that Inferno Tower, and there we go. Lava Hound is pretty much full HP right now. Uh, my Mega Minion survives, and he does not have anything else to counter my air troops. 
Uh, my minions, my lava pups actually do some damage to the tower now. That's the first push that I'm able to inflict some damage to the tower. I do not have zap here. So the only thing I can use to reset that inferno tower is the ice spirit. So I have to fix my rotation here again to make sure that I have the ice spirit to back up that lava hound. And, um, and unfortunately his bowler was there. There was no point of me using the ice spirit because it would just stop at that bowler. Only two minutes left here in overtime. He drops down the uh, that um, rocket Kaizen. That means trouble for me because he pretty much only needs one more rocket and maybe a zap or a fireball to win the game. I have my Lava Hound now at the tower. Mega Minion is also there. My skeletons are overwhelming that Inferno Tower. He was forced to zap. My Lava Hound survives that Inferno Tower, guys. And look at this incredible push. Look at all the skeletons, guys. I was able to drop down two tombstones there and it just overwhelmed, completely overwhelmed him. That is win number 11, guys. As you guys can see, this deck is just incredible. I can't even wait to test it after the balance changes and I'll bring you guys some more videos um, with this deck, with different decks. Um, I'm sorry if you guys do not have a Lava Hound and a Lumberjack. I will also be doing other decks. The next deck I want to feature to you guys actually features two different um legendaries it will not be with the lava hound and the lumberjack it will be with the two other legendaries that i have and then after that i promise i will bring you guys something that doesn't even have legendaries so absolutely anyone could make the deck and still be successful with them so here we go guys in the beginning of the game we already took down the tower I can't believe that this is going to be win number 12 if we can keep this advantage. His King's Tower is already down to only 3000 HP. Um, I go ahead and drop down my Mega Minion here because his Prince and his Giant are not going to target my Air Troop. I put down the Tombstone there to distract the Prince. It is an amazing defense, amazing counter to the Prince, guys. Only three elixir against the five elixir of the prince. Not only does it counter it effectively, but it gives us an elixir advantage. Only a minute and 10 seconds left on the clock, guys. And here we go. We're setting up for another massive push here. And I love to push on the same side of the opponent because watch. After placing the Lava Hound, I could just go carelessly drop down the Mega Minion and the Minions. Because whatever support troop he has that might target air is going to end up targeting that Lava Hound. So here I place another Lava Hound, another Mega Minion. And watch as these two Mega Minions just vaporize that Prince. There's just absolutely nothing he could do at this point. I'm about to take tower number two here. 20 seconds left on the clock and already making another gigantic push for the king's tower 10 seconds left is this gonna be a three crown for the 12th win guys five seconds left here we go fireball and that's the win guys three crown wins for our 12th win in challenges awesome hopefully we get something good from this chest guys let's see so there we go achievement unlocked challenge challenge streak three let's go ahead and claim our prize here at the achievement section 100 gems and 20 experience for getting 12 wins and challenges guys as you guys see our max wins is 12 let's go ahead and open this chest now wish me luck hopefully i get something good 2000 gold that is awfully a lot of gold for only 10 gems one barbarian whoa that's a lot of barbarians 10 ice golems awesome i'm looking forward to upgrading and using ice golems 88 royal giants i also got one lightning which is an epic card so yeah guys i want to thank you very much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends and most importantly subscribe for more clash royale content